do we have to follow a single madhab or following the majority opinion is fine? If a person choose to follow a certain madhab from the four madhab that is known today, there is no blame for the person. There is nothing wrong with that person's uh, uh, choice. If he choose to follow that opinion, it's like you choose the opinion of that alim or that alim, it is fine. What is not allowed for a person to be uh, uh, rigid and to be extreme and to dismiss other scholars or other opinions, uh, that's not allowed in Islam. Also, it's not allowed to believe that the truth and the haqq is always in the side of one particular person. To believe that Abu Hanifa never makes mistakes. Or the, the haqq is only in what the Shafi'i said. Or what Ahmed said. That's also not allowed. And to believe it's haram to go outside the madhab. That's not allowed. And But the big question for me when people ask, I ask, are you capable of understanding even the madhab? Because inside every madhab there is multiple opinions, multiple positions. So which one you will choose from? Are you educated enough to claim that you are a follower of that madhab, to study and to analyze? But what's the layman person's asked to do? Very simple. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, ahl dhikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. Ask the people of dhikr if you don't know. So if you don't know a ruling, you just go ask someone that you trust, someone that you think he is a knowledgeable person. And whatever answer he gives you, and you uh, show, see that he's a person of knowledge, and this answer based on a knowledge, and you feel comfortable with that, you take that answers, and that's sufficient for you. You don't need to ask which madhab you are following, or anything of that uh, nature. The majority of opinions are not necessarily always to be the correct, by the way. And the word majority is an ambiguous word because many people claim that this is the majority. But it may be the majority in this madhab, the majority according to that person. But it's not a majority in reality because as you know how hard it is to count the number of scholars and to really look at the majority. Is it 51%? Is it 60%? It's a very ambiguous word. And one more thing I want to say. When it comes to issues, make sure that you ask people who are more, if this has to do with culture, make sure that you ask people, understand the culture. It doesn't matter in this case which madhab they follow, but would they understand the reality in the Western, basically culture. So he give you a fatwa that fits the, the time and the place where you live. Also, when it comes to the majority, anything has to do with the general public, the collective ishtihad. The fatwa that given by a majma, a council, or a committee of fiqh, it is much better than a fatwa given by one individual, especially in things related to businesses or related to uh, centers, related to the general public. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always to give us guidance.